Now to a story you'll only see on News 5. A Pueblo business is now unable to operate after thieves swiped its main source of revenue, its barbecue smoker. News 5's Katie Blaze is live in our Pueblo studio tonight. Some pretty devastating stuff for this uh, small family restaurant, Katie. Yeah, Zach, it is. The smoker belonging to Nana's House Cafe is the heart of what this business is. The owner tells me since last week when it was stolen, she hasn't been able to open the restaurant. Without insurance kicking in for at least a month and some kind of assistance, there's a chance the cafe could shut down for good. I'm devastated. I'm very heartbroken. An empty restaurant, a locked door, and this sign that reads temporarily closed due to theft of smoker. I've worked so hard to get where I'm at and to have somebody come along and take it away from you is just wrong. A custom made smoker that Samora says was stolen from her home in Boone. Friday night I got home at 930. My smoker was on my truck. 8 o'clock Saturday morning, I go out to start my truck and there's no smoker. It's an item the restaurant uses every day. We not just do the barbecue here, but we set the smoker up too as a vendor. So we have all these events coming up and we can't do them because we have no smoker. The estimated worth of the smoker, almost $30,000. The smoker is what our business is. Without that, we can't operate. We can't operate. We can't pay the bills that need to be paid. While Samora says insurance will hopefully kick in in the next month. I don't have 30 days. I have a business I need to run. So we did find one in Texas, but of course we have no revenue right now to get that smoker because we can't open without that smoker. So yeah, we're stuck between a rock and a big hard place. And Samora tells me she has filed a report with the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office. She asks that if anyone sees a smoker to please call 719-583-6125. And there is a GoFundMe page if you'd like to help Samora replace the stolen smoker. You can find that link on our KOAA News 5 app. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Katie Blaze, News 5.